Hi, my name is Hannah, here with Top 5 Studios. Today, we will be discussing the climate change debate, a subject of immense importance as governments are putting money and energy to slow the change. But is this a real problem? There is an intense debate. Today, we will present two different perspectives on the topic. At the end, let us know where you stand. Let us begin. Thank you. My name is Paul. I represent the perspective that climate change is real and largely human-caused. Let me go through my points. First, let's discuss greenhouse gas. The Earth's atmosphere contains gases like carbon dioxide and methane, which trap heat. Since the Industrial Revolution, human activities have significantly increased the concentration of these gases. For example, carbon dioxide levels have risen from about 280 ppm in pre-industrial times to over 410 ppm in recent years. Second, the fact that there is a temperature rise. Global average temperatures have risen by approximately 1.2 degrees Celsius since the late 19th century. The last five years have been the hottest on record. The temperature rise has caused an ice melt. Data from NASA shows that Greenland lost an average of 281 billion tons of ice per year between 1993 and 2019, while Antarctica lost about 148 billion tons. In addition, there has been a sea level rise. The global sea level has risen by about 8 inches since 1900. This is due to the melting of glaciers and polar ice and the expansion of seawater as it warms. Lastly, there has been more climatic events. We're seeing an increase in extreme weather events, be it heat waves, droughts, or intense hurricanes, which many attribute to the changing climate. Thank you, Paul. Ron, your perspective? Thank you. While it's agreed that climate change is happening, I argue it is more of a natural occurrence and not as severe as portrayed. Let's first look at the history of the world. The Earth's climate has always changed. There were warm periods, such as the medieval warm period and cold periods like the Little Ice Age. These both happened well before the Industrial Revolution. It is believed that we are just in another natural warming cycle. Second, let's look at solar activity. The sun plays a significant role in Earth's climate. Researchers believe any changes in solar radiation can influence our climate. Some of these changes in solar radiation can have a great effect. While the universe changes, it is well known that the Earth also adjusts. The Earth has mechanisms that can regulate or mitigate the effects of warming. Mechanisms in our environment, like cloud cover and water vapor, which increase with warming, have cooling effects on the Earth. Over time, the Earth has undergone various periods of warming and cooling. Many scientists believe this is attributed to this feedback mechanisms that kept the planet from reaching extreme temperatures in either direction. Furthermore, while there's a consensus on some rising temperatures, there's definitely a debate on the severity. For example, while Arctic ice has decreased in the Northern Hemisphere, the Antarctic sea ice in the Southern Hemisphere is enlarging and has been for a while. Lastly, there are systems called natural carbon dioxide sinks Natural carbon dioxide sinks refer to systems or processes in nature that capture and store carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. These sinks help regulate atmospheric carbon dioxide levels and play a critical role in the Earth's carbon cycle. The Earth has natural processes, such as forests and oceans, which absorb and regulate carbon dioxide. These systems will increase to make up for the current accelerated rate of human emissions. Thank you both for sharing your insights. I hope you have a better understanding of the two points of view. It's important to recognize that the topic of climate change is multifaceted. As new data emerges and our understanding deepens, our perspectives may evolve. It becomes imperative for each of us not only to stay informed, but also to approach the topic with an open mind. After all, collective understanding and collaboration are pivotal in addressing such a global and pressing issue. To the viewers of this video, we'd love to hear from you. What's your take on this crucial issue? Please share your opinions and thoughts on the topic, as your perspective is important in enriching this ongoing discussion. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. And if you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss an update.